Marshall Hughes in Auburn with more. Well, the drought is over. Tennessee streak of 11 losses in the SEC is done with. All it took was a road trip to see the reigning SEC West champions to make it happen. Auburn had more total yards and more rushing yards in this game, but in a battle of the Jarrett's, it was Garantano outperforming Stidham through the air. Uh, it means a whole lot. Uh, this is my first SEC win, first SEC win for my class, playing really. So it just means a lot to the team, and it means a lot to me as well. The redshirt sophomore threw a career-high 328 yards to go with two touchdowns to reach a new milestone that left the 20-year-old emotional after the game. It meant the world. Um, last year, this year has been very, it's been very rough, very rough. Um, it just means a lot. Stidham's first of three turnovers set Garantano up for a 42-yard touchdown pass to Ty Chandler tying the game at 10 in the second quarter. You know, I knew no doubt he was going to come in and do his thing. Uh, he's a great player, uh, great quarterback, great leader for us. So I knew he was going to come out and do his thing. We just had to protect him. JG got rolling from there. The New Jersey native spread the ball around, completing passes to eight different targets. One of his best balls, a 25-yarder to Juwan Jennings on third and long. Garantano 11 of 14 for 188 yards on third downs, and this throw gave Tennessee its first lead late in the third. We're used to being down, as you guys know, and so when we weren't we weren't focused on the scoreboard at all. That's one of the things that Coach Brew was saying pregame: don't worry about the scoreboard. Let's be the most physical team out there, and let's just go play ball. He's tough, man. You can't ask for a better quarterback than him, man. I got to keep him cleaner. That's my job, you know. And Jared just keeps playing, man. He just keeps showing his toughness week in, week out. What type of man he is? As an offense, I think we played very well. There's definitely things we can fix and we're going to go back and elaborate on those and look at them, but I'm very happy with what we did today. Tennessee scored 20 unanswered before Auburn made it a six-point game with under a minute to play. The Vols leaving with a win, putting a spark in a fan base that's been craving just that. Well, I'm going to tell you what, it's always fun to beat Auburn and especially to beat them at Auburn. So, um, <laughs> but um, I th I'm excited for our players and everybody associated with our program, our fan base. Uh, our fan base is hungry, and they should be, you know, and we're going to enjoy this for 24 hours, and then we're going to get ready for the next game next week. The win gives Pruitt his first in the SEC and suddenly gives Tennessee hope for a bowl bid in its first season under the former Alabama defensive coordinator. Pruitt and the Vols get Alabama next week, and while no one is going to be picking the Vols who upset the Tide, at least a win at Auburn is going to have Nick Saban thinking a little bit more about his road trip to Neyland Stadium. In Auburn with the Vols, Marshall Hughes, WATE6 on your side sports.